morning YouTube, we're live on this Tuesday morning. Um, this morning I'm gonna build funnels with me. And if you don't know what a funnel is, that is like a total goofed out for your customers. So instead of just guiding them to an e-commerce webshop where they can pick a hundred thousand things, you guide them through your uh, own def defined path. So if somebody comes in, for example, to buy a toilet roll, you can see, do you need something to freshen up your toilet seat? Because you're probably doing a poo and you're stinking up your toilet. So that next upsell would be something to make it smell nice. If they buy that, you could sell them more discounted stuff. And that upsell after upsell is the, yeah, the function of a sales funnel. But a sales funnel is much more than that. Um, when your customer normally leaves your website, you lost them. You'll never see them back. When your customer enters a sales funnel, and they, let's stick to the toilet paper for a minute, people go camping and they want to have a checklist so they don't forget to pack the most important stuff. So people can download the free checklist at camping.com. At that moment, people give their email address and they trade that in for the checklist. So you know, you just qualified yeah, a lead because they want something. They don't visit your website and just leave. They want something. After they downloaded the checklist, you could say, ah, oh, the thing that is uh, forgotten most of the times is toilet paper. Did you pack your toilet paper? Let us ship you four rolls for free. It's eco dissolving, blah, blah, blah. First step, and you present it as a free offer. And people take you up on that offer. And the second offer is something more expensive. Because once they pull their credit card, they've proven that they are buyers. And they are hyperactive buyers who will buy anything in that moment. Because people like to buy stuff. I'm a hyperactive buyer. So as soon as somebody pulls the credit card, you got them in the sales funnel. And you keep offering more and more and more stuff. And that's what an e-commerce webshop normally doesn't do. They go to the checkout page, they buy a product, and they're gone. In a sales funnel, you have the email address, and you can follow up. But most people have an e-commerce webshop, and they don't really see the link between funnels and e-commerce products. So I'm going to show you today in this presentation or live stream how you can build an awesome-looking e-commerce funnel or a storefront, e-commerce storefront, where you can guide your customers into all separate funnels. So let's, hmm, let me just open ClickFunnels because that's the platform where we're gonna build the funnel. And this is what I made earlier, just to prove that you can have all the nice functions and features of an e-commerce webshop in ClickFunnels. So this is a domain, fashiontwins.nl. You can see, you can get free makeup. It's an image, people can share this, get it here for free, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And this is the first click that guides people into the actual funnel. So this is a slider. As you can see, it slides through several different offers. So you could be presenting all your uh, funnel beginnings here. If I click this, tell us where to send your free bracelet. Link there. So I'll show you where you end up on this live stream. You're gonna enter the funnel. After you click the home page, gonna go like, ah, oh, I want this free bracelet. Okay, this is the first step of the funnel then. Due to the popularity of the free paw bracelet, it might sell out today. We have a limited supply, blah, blah, blah. People can enter their name, and address, and phone number, and they can get their free bracelet. A nice thing what you just seen popping up here is uh, the table brush. That's a new feature in ClickFunnels. And it shows people that somebody just bought this product. That's kind of social proof. So people are seeing that other people buy this, so they want to buy it. Let me just go back. Got too many screens open. They enter the name, email address, 
and it asks, oh, where should we ship? So your free stuff is going to be shipped right to me. And this is the thing about the, the order form here. It's a two-step order form. So if somebody wants the free thing and they fill in the name, you can only limit it to the US if you want, or you can make it available worldwide. I made it just for the US. I know, do I know? Only postcode I know. Yes, ship me my bracelet. So now we already received the name, email address, and people are added to our email list. So first step, you just received a customer and you didn't even spend any money. Here it says you can get this dog charm just for shipping and handling. So for 9.95, you get this delivered at your home. They fill in their email address, okay, their credit card number and the CSV number, expiry month. And then there's an order bump and it says, would you like to have another bracelet? Because in e-commerce, it works like this, especially in funnels. If you just give somebody a thing that they really, really wanted, then they might want more of that same thing. So this bump, I'm going to change the price point, but you could add, do you want an extra one for five bucks? Free shipping. People can instantly select this and it's been Add it to the order. After that, you go and accept the bump. You go, okay, I want another one, maybe five bucks. Show you the next page. Because this is a live website, I cannot do uh, an order. Yeah, I can do an order, but that's going to cost me money. So you're going to end up on the second page and says, wait. Grab one bracelet for just eight bucks. Get another pendant at a huge discount. Get one for friends and families too. Don't forget, they make great gifts. Again, the pop-up game here, social proof. Somebody else already bought this. Get two options. Get one for eight bucks, or you can add two for 15 bucks. And you don't pay for shipping. Instantly, people can say yes or no. No, I don't want this. Or yes, I do want this. I want one or I want two. That's being added to their discounted page and instantly added to the order. After that, they are not done buying yet because they haven't left the funnel yet. They are already being charged for those products because they said, yes, I want this. But there's a third step. Wait, would you like us to add a matching necklace? And normally there are only 24 blah, blah, blah. And you can do an Amazon uh, price comparison. And here, here you see the pop-up again. I just bought another one, maybe two for 22 bucks. And this is like a negative yeah, deal. This one is highlighted, but most people still go for the two pair. Or they can say, no thanks, I'll pass it this time. After that, they're still not finished because this is the way how you make more out of one customer. You just keep asking, do you want more and more and more? People are in a buying mood. They want more. They like the bracelet. Maybe they like the necklace. Maybe you give them a huge cat or earrings or something else. So let's show what's on the next page. So they already bought that free thing which you make nine bucks okay, at the very last page last chance upgrade your matching jewelry set for only 19.95 and you get the entire set or you could even give them two only 19.95 add it to your order click and the last page is the order confirmation Of course, that's the page where, yeah, where people go to see the entire summary of the order. So it says, thank you for shopping, dynamically updated the price, because this is a test, this doesn't update. And on this page, this is a thank you page that instantly guides you to 
they like some more free stuff of this. And this could be a different earring set or a different anything in any niche this would work. So they click on this and they enter the next funnel. And when they say funnel, I'm going to show you some of the stats of this funnel. And then eventually I show you where to get the products. You can, yeah, and how you're going to sell it. So you can see some stats. People opted in. People already bought. Let me just expand this. So the thing is, it's a, a bad charm, which costs like three bucks on some sourcing sites. So if you order that for free plus shipping and you charge seven bucks in shipping, you still break even. So you don't make any money, but you get a free customer. And by doing that order bump, do you want an extra one for five bucks? Or do you want to have the earrings? Do you want to have this? Do you want to have this as well? And people spend 90 to 100 bucks just in one sales funnel off of your products, which you just need to ship once. And you order at the same company, so you only have shipping once. And you pay three bucks for the item itself. So that's why you need a sales funnel instead of a website. Let me now show you how you can easily use this free website that you can download for free after this presentation. I'll send you the link or it's, it will be below this video. I will show you now how you can edit this site really easy because maybe you don't sell jewelry. And don't know if I showed you this. This is a nice added little thing as well, testimonials. You can make them slide and click funnels. See? So your storefront is just a way to get people to linking to Instagram, Facebook, and offering them the first step of your sales funnel. If you buy this necklace, you enter my necklace sales funnel. If you go below, you can select something else and you enter a different sales funnel which offers you a few uh, products in a certain yeah, sequence. The, the big thing why you need a sales funnel above a website is, as well is that you can drive traffic to all these separate offers. And you get people who are only interested in those offers. But because they had the thank you page at the end, you introduce them to other offers and you don't close the loop, the sales loop. The loop is still open because you can go shop now. And if people, especially girls or women, if they are in a shopping mood, they're gonna buy everything that you offer them. So keep offering stuff. The way this works is, I made a really easy, simple one page funnel. And this is not it. This is the actual um, bracelet funnel. Ta -da! This is one page. And I'm going to open this and show you how you can edit this really quick into any page you want it to be. So I'm just going to duplicate this storefront for a minute. And you do that by going to select things, and then you can see clone funnel. So I start with a brand new funnel or a new storefront. By clicking clone, it's gonna clone the entire funnel, all the the stamps, all the images, everything. So while that's being downloaded or loaded in your share funnel. Just refresh the page. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. 
the stakes oil so we just go back to the original funnel and i already changed it a little bit to something else to like a proper thing let me see if it did copy you can see i got 239 funnels <laughs> Storefront. I'll just use this one for the sake of the presentation. And because I don't know, ah, some pages load quicker than others. So this is the makeup page. You can click a link which you're going to get on Hack My Funnel. You can subscribe there or you can contact me, but I will post the link in the video below so just come back after this presentation open the funnel okay if you haven't done this already i'm just gonna delete this delete page variation oh. because i want to start all over with you and actually show you how to get all this done So, I create a variation. Easy way, you can split as pages. So, if you think this page is not converting very well, split as is a create duplicate page and it creates the exact same page as this one. And you just change subtle things like the headline or an image or maybe the colors, or but you don't change too much because any increase or decrease in conversion then to one change. If you change 10 things, you don't know what change is responsible for the, the biggest impact. After this, we added the page. So when you hit the, the share funnel link, this is gonna download into your ClickFunnels account. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, you can get a 14 day trial which represents a value of 47 bucks. You can instantly download this funnel into your account without even paying for it. Then you can already go to some sourcing sites, hook up your own products in there, kick the funnel life and make money before ClickFunnels even charging you for the first time. So this is the funnel. This is the storefront. When you're gonna get it, you open it in this browser and you can see it's pink. And let's say I want to make a proper survival gear website, which is by any chance my domain. So I make it like grayish. Should be a sexy, sexy, sexy. Okay. And you want to change the title. Proper survival. Maybe you want to change because I don't have a logo here, I just placed the name. And I see this headline is white, but maybe I want to be an S energy to be a different color. So I just make the bold color like a rat. Blood red. And by selecting this and unbolding them, make different colors. Oh, you can just leave it one color. Anyway, or you can change it to your own. Have the cool color, maybe green. Green, it's a pop. Why is the text color like white? Maybe I changed the text color here. Don't want the link color. 
Okay, let me change the header. And you can see if you don't want this to be right there, you can just add a row. Hmm. That's funny. I think I dragged the entire row one lower than it should be. But that's no problem. You can always select it in the rows if you can get it here. It doesn't grab or you're fighting with the little arrows here. You can just say manage. And this is a row. So I can just move this row up here. So, and everything's back to normal again. Yes, I changed the background so the text, the standard text is gone. Then color, make this some color again. I think that's white text here or grayish text. Something on the jewelry offer. <laughs> My computer is having a hard time. So make it this go on. So, okay. Even if you don't like this, you can just toss it out. Make a new element. You can upload a logo. Let me upload a logo. See if I got a logo somewhere. And then I have to see if I got a logo. I think I got one. Click the demo image. Click the gear, click the image. I clicked quick, click the gear. And this is all a bit laggy because of YouTube. <laughs> okay, we got a logo. There you go. Logo, logo. Nice logo for my proper shop. Just double click it and it's been inserted. Proper survival gear, how to get prepared. The background maybe with this. Then you can just go to color picker. Color and it should be picking this one. Nine six, nine six, nine six. Okay. And then I change the background to match the nine six, nine six, nine six. Which is probably not the color I want it, but let's make it darker. Yes. Proper survival gear, how to get prepared. This needs to come down a little bit. So anything, any element you pick, you can just click on it and you can instantly see what you can add it. So maybe you want to add it to font size, make it a little bigger, add it some top margin to make it fall down a little bit. Okay, so this is starting to look like proper shit, proper website. So because I want a different background, 
on this. Don't want a fruity or a smoothie or a fruity or something to drink. I want like homesteading stuff or bush nature things or somebody who's camping out or, or the cool thing is if you select an image and you don't actually have images of your own you can just see um so for you the big file searches the site for you just picks up an icon for you on unsplash you can just see mm, so many, 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 many pictures. So maybe you want that one. Let me just get that one. It's, it looks like you're... Ooh, oh, there's only one. I like there's only one. You can always come back, change it, because it has to download the picture. And the click funnels, and you double click it, and it's your background, your background. Because the slider is right here, this is a little trick. Get this all working, but if you see it in the click funnels editor, it's like this and not next to each other. So this is one slide, this is the second slide. Free jewelry offer to, for example, free credit card. Nice. Your credit card. Free. Small shipping fee and we'll send you the. Just change this and this, and then you can just see this. Click. Because this is not a credit card. I need some like shit. <laughs> That's not a credit card knife. So let me just look for a credit card knife. I'll just quickly steal an image. Oh, maybe we steal the image. That looks cool. Steal this video. That's even better. Or well, if you want to be. There's no denying that knives are incredibly useful. Oh, I know. Knives are incredibly useful. Well, it kind of says this is the image one. Nope. Back. Back. Don't want to make a motion. Okay. But this is the image one. Let's open my Google. See anything happening, but my computer's thinking really, really hard about how to open this without crashing. Let's get this. I see, save. Save, snip. Snip, snip. Card. Just do this and. Just copied my credit card image. Which no, I need to find my funnel again. Ah, there he is. I select the image again, 
because this has more than just the credit card knife and I don't want people to get confused. The credit card knife's been uploaded. <laughs> sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it's really quick. The image for your credit knife. What are you always doing this? I'm kind of a SEO geek and I know that Google likes image tags. Mm. Your image and add tag. It's not live for free. Picture size, blah blah. Just make this pop a little bit more. Get your credit knife for free. Blue. That's in there. Um, blue. Old cars. Okay, now tell us where to send your free. And it's, of course, not a bracelet. So I'm going to change that. We're going to change that. And I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to make this something different. Actually, in English. We just have to see where where should we ship your free is always good to use free multiple times. Let me see. I only be asked. Oh, so. Only pay a small fee. Let's make it shipping. There are tons of them. Little. Wait, let me delete this because I'm not getting the the door bracelet. So you can just simply delete stuff. The easy way is you can copy stuff as well. So you just made this up and it's nice and blue and you like the letter size and the typography or how you call it, the font settings. That's what I mean. You can just copy this. So you go duplicate. It makes a duplication of that exact same thing and you just drag it. Because I want to have this here too. So here it would say, Get your free credit card knife here. But of course, this is going to be a different offer. This get your free. Um, and these offers, these are always the, the cheapest things. This is always the first entry level of a funnel. So if I make a, a funnel for a credit card knife, then stay with me because um, just a little strategy. If you want to offer one credit card knife, I go back to that same funnel we just did with the bracelet. It's like, oh, get your free credit card knife here for free. Blah, blah, blah. You want the second one for only two bucks or three bucks? Click and they add another one. And that's how you make money on credit card knives, which only cost two bucks. And you sell them for nine or six and you still make money. But after that, second page, it's going to be the upsell. You're going to sell them more because maybe the friend would like to have a credit card knife or something else. And after that, after you sold them a few more of them, maybe you can, um, let me see if I got a little example, you can upsell them something else. A credit card knife goes in your SOS kit. 
get your as well as get here free and the as well as get I just checked because I have a website which is proper related I just had this as well as get and only cost a few bucks but that could be the upsell on the other hand your upsell could be your first entry product of not a funnel so let's say we sell them this and because it you could even sell them this for nine bucks free shipping but i like to position it as i give them something free and they just have to pay for shipping so i could say get your own free each factor again don't work hard you work smart just copy this and drag it on there. And then you don't need to create this entire bouncy button again. I just delete this one. It's quite annoying. Get your blah blah dog bracelet. Don't want that. That has to go. This one has to go as well. And here I don't see. Fashion twins. Let's see. Oh, so here again, duplication. I just delete this. Yeah, the only thing is, if you make a typo in one, the typo is going to be in the other one as well. Ta-da, proper survival. I'm gonna kill this bouncy button. Bouncy button, go away. Save. And now we have like a storefront for our credit card knife. And as well as get. Proper survival gear. Get your credit card knife here. What a nice slider. If you want to get the code from the slider, you're going to get it in the template. If you want to get all these nice tweaks for click funnels, I suggest you join Funnel U. So, slider is displaying, credit card knife, or the as well as Let me see. If I tell the truth, or oh, the slider doesn't work anymore. So, next step. Get all this pink crap out of the proper ship. I mean, the template. This needs to be brutal, bold calls, not pink. It needs to be bloody manly. Like red, no, blue, green. And you can see changing is really easy. Just select colors. So the text was the same color as the the background. That's why you don't see it here. Text color, bold color. It's a bold thing and it's if you don't see anything you can just this is like the opacity so if you don't see any color it's like the opacity and you can see we got letters and colors which should be white and blue instead of green and blue so we're going to change that background gonna make that blue Bold color, white. Okay. We like this. We copy this. That's what you do. Like it, copy it. Uh, I mean, you model it. Hmm. Copying is very bad. So just put this one there. 
This could be like, um, for example, this is a proper web shop. This could be the next week's offer. You can just show them what they get next week. Next week, you're going to get a complete book out bag or something. I'm not really a prepper. I don't live in the bush, but I really like the prepper materials and the prepper gear. I like the big knives and the bag and being prepared, which I am absolutely not. If the light goes out, I um, have to look for a candle for like two days. I know I got candles here, but I'm absolutely not prepared. I do have the knives, though. Knives are lying around here, so if I need to stab somebody, that's no problem. Next week's offer, make a nice image. And maybe check out what they do as an upgrade thing. Bazooka, marshmallow bazooka. No. Gonna. Ooh, knives. Or a different pocket tool. I'll always find something nice. So they have this. I'm going back, 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 back. To the day when I built a proper funnel. Let's set it here. Let's begin. But you can easily find a different image again by just selecting the image. The image, read in half now. Then you go search. They make it then. What else? We could do a hammock. Hammock. Just seen a leaf, which one to that. Looks good. The first thing you don't want to do is sleep outside. I want one for free. Let me just change up this. This, this doesn't look very really good. It's, of course, I screwed up the template a little bit because pink and white is going to be replaced. Yes, I want one for free. Sign up here, make sure you don't miss the jewelry. Oh, yeah. Copy that. Next week's playing, I'm not going to mess that. Now we just change the button. Needs to be blue. I want some padding on the top. Okay. Button's going to be blue. I'll copy like two or three of them because one needs to go here. Other one needs to go there. image you can do next week's uh, free offer uh, last week uh, last week's free offer and this week so they can see what's coming up next week so they can make a note of that maybe come back next time um today's offer and um, maybe um a trial thing where they can get something for free with a timer on it or something. Mm. That's a hammock, that's quite good. And um, what else? I need an EDC. So, 
something else. What else would you need? As being a proper, you would need a compass. Mm. Let me see what else. Come back and test and a carabino. Yes, that's gonna be cool. Gonna make that a huge nice offer. You get a compass and a knife and just figure this out. So this is just the storefront. We're just making like the shopping window where every click on that website is gonna be the entrance into a different funnel. For this awesome compass and knife to pop up into click funnels. Which is not happening. <laughs> we'll just give it a few seconds. So this So you can get, get this funnel as well. What the heck? I'll just throw it in. This is gonna be the front end of every funnel link. So if somebody clicks on your e-commerce front, they're gonna enter this funnel. So first funnel you make this, your credit card knife. Second one, you make this with your hammock. Then you make it with your uh, compass and any other thing. You just do the same. You change the name, the email address, all the ads. And you start making it your own funnel. Ah, there it is. It's a huge image, which um, if you want to have a nice, really nice performing website, you should probably shrink this image. But for now, I'll just leave it like that. This one has to go. This one has to go as well. So that's gonna be it's gonna be this week's free offer. You can even make it a date here, or you can see this offer is gonna be available on let me just make a timer. Going down. Come down to a certain specific time. And then you get like the, the coupon style website. So you make it 17 or 18. Let's make it 19. You can see you redirect it to the certain URL. You just name the URL here. You can name any URL that you want. So it's going to be next week's offer. Then don't blue. Yeah, it's going to be the best one else. And you can change them as well. Change the background a little bit because the white text on this doesn't really pop. Background color. Make a little bit of opacity. So that's going to be the testimonial bit. You can edit the text. Want to get all exclusive deals, blah, blah, blah. You make this like a pop-up. People can enter their name and email address. And then they join your email list. So let's make this a little bit more into the proper style. People can sign up here for next week's deal. Access to all the exclusive deals there are. So by this, you already have a way of getting people to join your email list. 
you can always follow up on your email list with new deals and you can even automate this just an easy trigger that says hey new deal is coming up you make an email template which states what the deals are and you send it out on autopilot and that's how you make a lot of money with just one single funnel and one single product no need to invest tons in in products and sourcing them and shipping them with fba or amazon or and I think you just need one good product, one great offer, and then it's going to convert and you're going to make sales. And by using a sales funnel, you make more yeah, profit on one customer. Just change this again to, I think it was 60. 60. Super cool thing. Okay, let's save the page. And you get the deal. It's not that ClickFunnels can do this. It's like, how oh, well do you know ClickFunnels? Everything's really easy. You can make sliders, you can make uh, memberships websites. Right now, you made an opt in and an entrance to every funnel on your website. Or in your business, so free credit card knife. I can now drive traffic to this by just making a really easy like like this. Who says on Facebook drive traffic to it and say, Oh, you want your free credit card knife? So, this is how you get your entire front up and running and click funnels. You get people to sign up for your email list. Let me show you how the email list actually works on this. On the second funnel. I will be posting the link of this e-commerce funnel as well. Change it up and get the products out so you don't need to change all the nice pink letters. After somebody signs up here as well, they join your email list and on the automation tab, when you download this funnel, you see all the emails that are being sent. So if somebody saw but he didn't purchase, he gets after one hour, he receives an email. Hey, did you forget something? After 24 hours, did something go wrong? And then after 48 hours, he gets a message from, yeah, well, deal expired. Too bad. And by the, the OTO or the one-time upsell, then they receive emails as well and those different emails they would be pointing them up to the uh, second upsell so thank you for your order here's what's next blah, blah, blah. so we can actually see it's like hi congratulations on your decision to get the free of course you just need to change the text here free bracelet today free credit card knife here and you always ask them in the email, join our Facebook group. So you build your community. You can get uh, other deals through Facebook. You, you can communicate with your, yeah, with your target audience through Facebook. And by adding every customer to your Facebook group, you don't only sell products, you don't only grow your uh, fan base, but you add people to your Facebook page. And you don't even pay for that. How cool is that? So if you liked how yeah, ClickFunnels can make an entire storefront for any business, I challenge you to give me any business and I will make an entire yeah, funnel for that business. But the problem is that most people focus on hundreds of products. It's just one product to draw your, yeah, your favorite uh, client in. And if you do proper stuff, that might be an SOS kit or a free credit card knife or you know, join me for next week's offer where you get a compass knife and this, and this could be a nice Xbox. In the next uh, streaming session, I plan on showing you how to get all this hooked up to your product so that the payment works, so that you know that if somebody pays, the product is getting ordered in China or wherever. 
how to do all this on automatic pilot. So if you want to know how to set up the second part of this e-commerce shop, leave a comment or reply or help me up on Facebook. If you like the video, please share this so I can start making some other videos. If you leave comments, I will make uh, videos about the stuff that uh, people are writing in the comments. So if you want to know how to do a certain thing, just write it down and I'll make a video about it. And that was fun building life for the first time. Hope to see you next time where we hook up the products and actually make some sales. Okay. Let me see how to put this. So I'll see you next week.